Good evening friends. I hope you and your family is safe and well. Uh, last week's videos we have discussed about the partnership forms objective questions. Today we are going to learn same things but model is different and that mo model is amalgamation of the form. Before starting the objectives of the amalgamation of the form, we will discuss about the background of the amalgamation. Amalgamation of the form means the two or more person, two or more firms come together and start a new business. It is called as the amalgamation. One firm take over the business of the another firm. It is called as the amalgamation of the firm. Now, one more thing is, one more chapter is there, piecemeal distribution of the cash. Now piecemeal distribution of cash, it is also one of the important chapter in our syllabus. Now from this particular piecemeal distribution, we will ask the number of questions related to the piecemeal distribution. It is the objective questions we will ask. So we will discuss some objective uh, background of the piecemeal distribution also. Uh, in real world, all assets cannot be sold one same time. For example, piecemeal distribution is after dissolution of the firm, after the close of the business, after the shutdown of the business, uh, firm has decided to sold all assets and paid all liabilities. But it is not possible because in real world, all assets cannot be sold in the same day. Assets are sold in part or piece by piece. Piece by piece means the piecemeal distribution. This situation is occurred because of the some assets cannot be sold quickly, can be sold quickly. Some assets take longer time to be sold. It, it required longer time. For example, assets like shares and investment can be sold immediately. However, this other assets like the breeding stock take time to be sold. In short, sale of the assets is gradual process. Gradual means slow process. Outside liabilities with not wait till all assets are sold. Now outside liabilities we have to pay first. It is not possible. We, we, we will not say that our business is shut down and we will pay the liability after all assets sold. The cash is distributed as it becomes available instead of the waiting for all assets to be realized first. The assets are sold piecemeal and the liabilities are also paid in a part this distribution of the cash to be liability to liability in a part is known as a piecemeal distribution of the cash. Now friends, as and when money is received from sale of the asset, it is used to pay liabilities. The liabilities are also paid in a state stages or gradually. The money in short is distributed in piecemeal in stage and not in a single shot. This is known as a piecemeal distribution. Now settlement of the liability. Now we will pay the liability. Which liability we have to pay the first? These are order is there that we, we studied. First we have to pay realization expenses, then reserves for unrecorded and contingent liabilities, preferential liabilities, outside of the liabilities, security, unsecured, partner's loan and partner's capital that we will pay first. These things you have to keep in mind. Now realization expenses, uh, reserve and unrecorded liability we know that preferential liability includes the all these things preferential creditors the in, it includes the government due income tax gst dues municipal taxes then amount due to an employee it is a preferential liabilities salaries and wages compensation for termination of the services contribution to problem fund then amount of rent to landlord these are all preferential liabilities are there now friends, we will discuss about the objective part. Now, first objective, if there there are four liabilities, for example, creditors rupees 10,000, bills paper rupees 5,000, outstanding expense rupees 10,000, other loan rupees 5,000 and cash available is rupees 15,000. So, which liability we have to pay the first? First pay directly we will discuss these four options are there from this we, which liability we have to pay first so pay rupees 5000 to rupees 2500 and pay rupees 5000 to 2500 due 
to ratio 2 is to 1, 2 is to 1. It means 10,000 first of all we have to pay, but we cash available is 15,000. The cash from this to cash available first we have to pay the 5,000 and 2,500 from this 10,000 first. Then we will pay 5,000 to 2,500. This total ratio basis we will pay the liability. Fine. The next from finding the unit value of capital is divided by the answer is unit capital how we will calculate adjusted capital divided by profit sharing ratio uh, adjusted capital divided by profit sharing ratio. the uh, answer is profit sharing ratio after finding the unit value of three partners a b c were selected unit value to so which value we have to select so we have to select the lowest value whichever is lowest then friends next is unit value we multiply with the each one so we have to use the multiplication by profit sharing ratio then fifth number bank loan is rupees 30,000 secured against the stock the stock sold for 25,000 the balance rupees 5,000 we will consider as the unsecured we will consider as an unsecured if x loan is 12,000 and y loan is rupees 8,000 both the assets of uh, both are partners profit sharing ratio is 5 to 4 cash available rupees 9,000 how would you pay the answer is rupees 4, 5,400 to x loans and rupees 3,600 to y loan <coughs> next east west and south are the partners sharing in the ratio of 3 is to 3 is to 2 their capital are rupees 24000 15000 9000 respectively which partner has a ultimate surplus ultimate surplus means final excess capital which partner the answer is east east partners next Contingent reserve is rupees 12,000. Contingent liability is 18,000. How would you deal with the remaining contingent reserves? Now, first of all, contingent liability means uncertainty. Suddenly, fire occurred. That is a contingent liability. Suddenly, earthquake occurred. That is a contingent liability. Suddenly, cyclone occurred. It is a contingent liability. And therefore, because of the suddenly natural thing ha happened, in unknowingly it, it is ha happened and therefore we suffer certain amount. It, here they suffer 18,000 is a condition liability and for that purpose uh, every firm keep certain amount for contingency liability purpose and it is called as a contingency reserve. They keep rupees 20,000 as a contingency reserve and liability occurred 18,000. It means the remaining balance 2,000 where we have to put the 2,000 we have to put as a distributed among the partners in their profit sharing ratio. Realization of the assets on dissolution is it is gradual. It is gradual. Gradually we have to pay external liabilities are the liabilities due to due to creditors it is a preference employees due are employees due are it is a preferential liabilities that we have studied employees dues are amount amount due to employee it is a preferential liabilities then friends Contingent liabilities are the liability which are contingent on happen of certain event in the future. Anything can happen in the future. So it is a contingent liability. Preferential liabilities are payable to creditors, payment to credit, uh, government, payment, payable to partner, payable to none. Answer is payment to government that we have studied. If we see that the amount due to the government, it is paid to the government, it is a preferential act. Next, partner's loan is internal liability, external liability, secure liability, none of the above. Answer is it is a internal liability. 
take over of the library by partner is it is added to capital of a firm partners general reserve should be it is distributed in profit sharing ratio profit and loss account debit balance debit balance means net loss should be should be answer is deducted from capital realization account is prepared in case of answer is dissolution bill under discounted is a it is a contingent liability after payment of outside liability next payment we have to give partners loan partners loan that we have discussed see that outside liability then second payment we will do partners loan after payment of the partners loan payment should be made to payment should be made to partners having surplus capital see that after partners loan partners capital payment should be made then next is in case an asset of a firm purchased by any partner it is it is should be debited it should be debited to the partners capital account the amount finally left unpaid or on partners capital account should be should be the profit sharing ratio should be in profit sharing ratio then practical we will not do so here this all this questions are over related to the piecemeal distribution now next we have to consider amalgamation of the partnership firm amalgamation is it's a merger of the business purchase constitution is the amount is the amount payable by new firm to old firm assets are transferred to relation account at book value excess of credit over debit side of relation account is profit on realization liabilities assumed by partners are debit to relation account relation account relation expenses are debit to relation account take over of assets by partner is debited to partners capital account excess of net asset over purchase consideration is capital reserve goodwill written off is debited to all partners capital account profit or loss on realization is distributed among the partners in profit sharing ratio purchase consideration is calculated by either net payment method or net asset method both the methods we can use amalgamation is deal with accounting standard number 14 relation account is open when the amalgamation account amalgamation is accounted by answer is relation method on amalgamation relation account is open in the books of answer is vendor firm on amalgamation of the firm the account is open relation account on amalgamation of the partners loan account is transferred to capital account partners capital account on amalgamation liability not taken over by new firm is transferred to capital account on amalgamation goodwill of the firm is considered by purchase consideration on amalgamation dissolution expenses of the vendor firm paid by the purchasing firm are debited to goodwill account on amalgamation general reserve distributed among the partner as per their old partners in old ratio 
amalgamation good on amalgamation goodwill of the both the firm is valued at separate valued separate on amalgamation of the firm property and loss account debit balance is debit balance is debited to the partner's capital account profit on realization profit on realization it is created to or it is transferred to or it is credited to partner's capital account it is credited to partner's capital account then friends this is a particular question x y and z company took over the assets land and building 4 lakhs plant and machinery 3 lakhs furniture 2 lakhs stock 60000 debtors 1 lakh 50000 cash balance 90000 And liabilities taken over include creditors one lakh fifty thousand, bills payable forty thousand, expenses payable ten thousand. The purchase consideration is that you have to calculate. It is one lakh. It is sorry, ten lakhs. Goodwill of two firms taken over rupees twenty five thousand two hundred. There are four partners in new firm A, B, C, D, who, in the ratio of three to two, three to two goodwill is to be written off. The capital account partners will be debited by. The amount answer is five seven five six zero five zero four zero seven five six zero five zero four zero. That you have to calculate this. friends i hope you understood such type of sum may become in your exam you should be prepare yourself and study regularly and keep watching this videos and see that particular videos uh, what your uh, objective question is there that objective questions you have to keep in writing in your notebook unless and you uh, you are not writing you will not get the marks you cannot understand uh, first of all you have to see the uh, or pdf our previous lectures notes even the uh, youtube all the notes are available my lectures are available see that any query any difficulty you can ask in our whatsapp group i will share with you thanks